I did that with every mortgage that I managed to write that week, and this went over a period of a couple of months. Within two months, I broke every company sales record, and these are insurance sales veterans that have been in the business for 30 years. I come up, no idea, I didn't know anything about insurance or mortgage, I didn't even have a mortgage at the time, uh, but immediately outsold all these people by applying conversational hypnosis techniques. Now I wasn't manipulating people to buy stuff they didn't need, that is unethical and you should never do it, but I was assessing people's situation and when people were really in a mess and they properly needed these products, I'd reframe the situation to create it so that they would want them as opposed to being opposed to uh, to buying them. So that got me a huge amount of profit from commissions from sales. So this kind of stuff can be applied into the sales industry. Um, I mean the, the they called me the Terminator because of the uh, amount of term life insurance I sold. And this is a national company across the UK. And I mean, once I started appearing in these monthly magazines, and I was in all of them, um, it was kind of shock news on each one that I'd broken a new record. As this started to happen, people from throughout the entire company all over across the UK wanted to know my secret. Now, I've not got the magazine from the day that they found out my secret, but well, the person that writes the magazine found out I was a hypnotist, and there was like, uh, stop press, Steve has been... Uh, Seen coming out of H. Samuel with ten pocket watches, his secrets had been revealed, and it was a it was a big issue. So then everybody in the company wanted to know about conversational hypnosis. I want to tell you a couple of the things that I used to do. You can use embedded commands. Uh, the the real basic one that you're bound to have seen before is buy now. I'll guess you will be wondering which is the best product for you, and that includes the buy now subliminal message. So there's an ambiguity there about uh, buying the product. Uh, the other one is to um, we use very often in hypnosis the phrase you're unconscious. We use this all the time, I use it on my clients, which is not only saying you're unconscious mind, but it's also saying that you are unconscious, so it's a command. But one of the ones that I want to share with you, it's a bit cheeky, but this is something I used to use quite a lot, and this is uh, an anchoring technique. As part of the mortgage job, I used to have to give presentations, and to do this, I used to have a pen, like this one, and I used to point through my presentation, and every time in the presentation where I knew they'd enthusiastically say yes, those are quite a few of these times, I used to clip the pen. And then when we got to the end of the uh, the presentation and we were starting to go through the forms, and I was beginning to ask them questions, if I wanted a yes response, I'd click the pen again. Now throughout the, the actual presentation, I'd probably clicked my pen 10 or 15 times, but nobody noticed it. They just think I'm playing with a pen while I'm doing the presentation. This anchors those yeses to the click, and then a bit later, every time I click the pen, they're gonna want to say yes. So that gives you a little bit of an idea, a little bit of an insight into the kind of things that you can do on a covert level with people to manipulate them into doing something that you want them to do. Now, I mean, looking back now, I do think that what I did during these experiments was probably a little bit unethical. Um, but all of those people really did need the products. Uh, all of those people had calling off periods, but I don't think I'd go and do something like that again. But at the time, I really wanted to test out these techniques, and that's the way I chose to do it. So that's kind of a little bit of my history with covert and conversational hypnosis patterns. I've given you a bit of an insight of what you can do with this, and I just want to quickly sum up. Of the two courses that I reviewed, uh, well, of all the courses I reviewed, the two that come out on top by miles are Steve Pelliari's uh, The Art of Covert Hypnosis and Igor Lerhoff's Conversational Hypnosis. Um, there are links to these. If you're watching this on YouTube, go down into the more info section uh, below this video and you'll see a link to both of those courses so you can go and have a little bit look more, uh, a, a look at them in more detail what you get. And uh, if you choose to purchase one of them, then go for whichever one's most suitable for you. If you want to use hypnosis to get women and um, you want to use it to make yourself look cool and to just have a bit of a laugh, uh, which is generally why I got into hypnosis in the early days, then go with Steve Pelliari. If you want to use hypnosis to create win-win situations, to become a, a unstoppable negotiator, uh, to be able to get people to do stuff that you want them to do and get them to feel good about it or get your employees to be more efficient, all that kind of stuff, then go with Igor Lenachowski because uh, I think he is probably, in my opinion, the most effective negotiator on the planet at this time because the techniques that he uses, those language patterns are phenomenal. And I mean, some of this stuff you'll have seen elsewhere, a lot of it is based on Milton Erickson, but a, a, a huge amount of it is based on his own experience. I mean, when, when you start using hypnosis yourself, you'll find that you use specific techniques that are unique to you and you'll develop your own style. Igor's done that and he's, I mean, you can skip the learning curve and jump straight into his material and get a complete brain dump on it. Both of these courses um, contain a, a several CDs that you'll be able to download and go through them. Both of these courses do require a little bit of effort. 
The Steve Pagliari course, that's a bit more of a quick starter because you can just go to the section that's particularly you're interested in, you can jump right into it, um, say for instance the hypnotic seduction because I know a lot of people will be interested in that. I mean that's probably CD 12, 13, 14 but you can jump straight to that CD, you can learn that material and then you can take that in itself and go out and, and use it. You don't have to go through all the other CDs to have done that. But with the Igor Ledochovsky material, it, you really, really want to go through this sequentially. What I did when I first started Igor's course is I um, transferred the material onto my iPod and I just listened to it. I didn't take any notes, I didn't do any of the exercises, I just listened to the whole lot all the way through. And um, I just let it sink in at a subconscious level. And then I went back to the beginning, I started going through... Uh, the CDs one at a time and I did the exercises that were included on the CDs and the, I mean the stuff really really does work so those are my recommendations um, I mean I haven't really got anything I could say that's bad about either of these two courses they are fantastic courses both of them um, they, uh, they I mean it's Steve um, you can tell by their names Steve Pagliari and Igor Lenachowski uh, these are they're not conventional English sounding names and both these people have got accents but I mean I've, I've had emails in the past of people saying um, that, that have tried Igor's course and they've said that the accents are a little bit, bit, a little bit unusual and uh, to understand but both of these guys the material that's recorded it's recorded at a really comfortable slow pace they've both got hypnotic voices so it's quite slow it's uh, methodical uh, Igor's course talking about the hypnotic voice Igor's course, um, the, the whole thing is narrated by himself and the material is it to listen to it uh, and just listen to the rhythms in his voice and the patterns and the inflictions in the words that he uses, that is so powerful, that's such a good teaching aid. In fact one of the CDs on Eagle's course talks about hypnotic language and the way that you should communicate with people. And this, I mean I'm going to give you this because this I think is a fantastic tip and not many hypnotists do this, they all subscribe to the monotone, don't do that, that's sort of nonsense. If you're saying excited, then sound excited. If you're saying sleepy, then sound sleepy. And this is what Igor says. So what, what you're doing when you go through your scripts is you're looking at the actual word, its meaning, and you're, you're um, portraying that meaning in the actual tonalities that you're using. Uh, and that's really, really powerful stuff. Now, you don't have to really exaggerate this. Uh, but, I mean, practice it. Get a list of words and just read them out uh, as though you're trying to explain the emotions behind the word in your tonality. And once you've started doing that and you read like that, it, the, the material that you use for people, just in conversation, if you're telling a story or whatever, it becomes completely mesmerising. So that in itself, I mean, that's one of the CDs on Eagle's course, and it's, that's a real cracker because I, for a long time I thought the hypnotic voice, the way most people do it, is just so boring and dull and it's in the dark ages and you you shouldn't do that. I mean if you've ever listened to some of Richard Bandler's material, his voice, he has got an amazing hypnotic voice. It's up and down, it's all over the place, he drags out his words, he gets excited, he squeals, he shouts. I mean this is what you should be doing when using hypnosis. I, I mean either conventional or conversational hypnosis, this is the stuff you should do. And Igor talks about that at length. Now another guy, a really good hypnotist, the reason I've, I've not reviewed him in this course is because he doesn't uh, teach conversational or covert hypnosis, but it's Nathan Thomas. Nathan is Igor's apprentice, and um, Igor took Nathan under his wing and he's pretty much taught him everything he knew. And if you ever listen to some of Nathan's material and the inflictions in Nathan's voice, if you're a member of his blog at Keys to the Mind, um, he's got that same pattern. He, I mean, when you listen to them both, completely different accents, um, but the inflictions in their voice, the way they say their words, the rhythms in the in in the material, it's and Nathan sounds like a clone of Igor because he's applying all these strategies and techniques, and it's very very hypnotic. So that that stuff is is incredibly valuable. So that's it. Uh, if you want to learn com conversa conversational covert or conversational hypnosis, if it's about your ego and you want to get laid and you want to have a hell of a lot of fun and you want to uh, you know want people to be really impressed with you then uh, jump on to Steve Pagliari's course it is it really really is worth it if you want to um, explore the, the way you can use hypnosis to create win-win situations and become an expert negotiator then Igor Lenachowski is your guy and there isn't I personally don't think there's another hypnosis course including my own that surpasses Igor's it, it really is 